and welcome back to another video of the cat lady now in the last video i was talking to mitzi and the police the police was really really useless and mitzi was well mitzi told me the rest of um the um, well the other chemical i need so but the other chemical i need is in the shed where this footsteps everywhere but yeah where this um annoying woman is and i can't seem to get rid of her and i have no idea how to get rid of her i still don't know even off screen i've no idea but um what do i have anyway i have a painting i have bleach i have a cloth gas mask and a phone obviously i know that that the bleach is one of the chemicals i need and when i pour this bleach into this man's place i need to wear the gas mask but i don't know what else to do i literally have no idea whatsoever but i'm just going to carry on wandering anyway and I don't know. Say I might try and might be able to find something. I don't know. I don't know. I, I need to try and I don't know. I need to try and think of some sort of distraction. Some sort of distraction to get rid of that annoying woman. The only thing I can think of actually, what literally just now popped my head. I, so I need to hide some for some reason. Don't know why I need to hide, but what I'm thinking is maybe. This is just a random thing, I don't know. Will this actually work? I'm going to see if I can call the house phone. Maybe that is the house phone. She said in the last video it's a house phone anyway. So what if I call the house number and then hide? Just a random thing. Yes, it is ringing in the background. Okay. Now if I, now if I get under and hide. Oh, it's working! actually working because if she, she will now answer it and I'll be able to get to the shed right might work it seems to work and she's going to answer the phone it means I need to be quick though it doesn't take long for, her, for to get to that phone right okay that seems to work now quickly make it to the shed and get that thing quickly Come on. If that was me, I'd be running. Come on! Quicker, you don't have much time. Okay. Cool. Will I get get the pesticide? Take the pesticide. Okay. That's it. Now quickly get out of here. Come on, quickly get out of here. Come on. Quicker. Okay, I can do this. Yes. Okay. Tybal. Hide under. I reckon she's gonna like come back again. Is she? Yes, she is. Okay. Phew. I mean, just in time. Okay. Well, hopefully, she won't notice that the pesticide is missing. That's it. You just stumble back again. Okay. Cool. Okay. That should be long enough to wait. Hey, let's run back again. Okay. So I've got the pesticide. I've got bleach. Now all I need to do is mix them together or pour them through the window I guess I'm pouring through the window I'm guessing enter there's a small window bit here now if I put my, put my glass, gas mask on I don't need to put this on right now really? ok well you will do in a bit ok bleach pour no not here um, ok pesticide no not here um, Oh no, of course, of course, I know what I'm doing here. Painting, use painting. Block it, block the, um, block the airway. Yeah, this is job stop the draft in the cellar. Yeah, block the airway so the gas doesn't leak out. There you go, and now, there's a, if I remember correctly, there's a bucket in, down in the celery bit. I can, I can put the pour, I can pour both of the chemicals in there. Put my glass, gas mask on. Sneak in. Okay. I think there's a bucket in here. Yeah, there was. Bleach. Poor bleach. I don't, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Put gas, gas mask. I can't see. Put gas mask on. Okay. Oh, you look wonderful like that, don't you? Yes, you do. Poor bucket. Poor bucket. Pour into the bucket. Okay. And uh, no, I don't want to examine bucket. I know what it, what it is. Poor pesticide. Okay, 
Cool. Okay, and that, that should do the trick. Close the door. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now I can get the gun, I'm guessing. Ooh, no, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Yep. I got the gun. Cool. Okay. Well. That's that sorted out. Now let's kill this annoying woman upstairs, shall we? Let's do this. I look actually, I actually look really cool. I'm like and look at look and like like and look at myself here. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Is it well I'm not I'm not afraid of her anymore. I've got a gun. I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah, psychopath. I'm a psycho killer. Yeah. Okay. Come on then. Time to kill you. What? She's gone! Where'd she go though? She back in the house? I would have like gone past her or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Obviously not. I have no idea. Whoop! Ah! Um, hold to pull trigger. Okay. Ah! Cool. Okay. Well, there she was. She was taking a horrible bath. <laughs> Alright, um, okay. I think that's the end of the chapter. I'll have that one back at home. Dunno. No, that was quite cool. Shut up! Cool. Music, yeah. I wonder what's going to happen next now in this story, look, story I guess. Well, now chapter 5. Cool. Yeah. That was a pretty good chapter actually. Sunflowers never bend towards the sun. Mm, I'm pretty certain they all do, but okay. Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. Are you alright? How did you get back? I walked. You saw something fog? terrible okay. in that fog, didn't you? I saw a monster. No. It's okay, you're back home now. You're safe, I think. Should be safe. <laughs> Maybe not. You're gonna take a bath now, aren't you? Take a bath then. I seem to have be taking a bath. I guess it'd serve a long bath. Hey. Time for a bath. Oh, hello. <laughs> Miss Ashwood, I need to ask you something. Can I come in? I'm in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. I'm naked here, you know. Whatever. It's you can come in if 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 you promise not to not you're not a yeah, I'm whatever. naked here, you know. Whatever it is, it can wait. But it can't. I need to know, Miss A. Well tough. I'm trying to relax here. I want some peace and quiet if you don't mind. And I don't like people seeing me naked. Fine, not a problem. I'll just ask you through the door then. I'm cooking up some pancakes. What do you like on yours? We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. You're doing what? Pancakes. Need some food, Miss A. When was the last time you ate? I can't remember. See, you need a good meal. That'll cheer you up. Why would that worry you? You're funny, Miss A. You want to know why? It's because I care about other people. And I believe nothing smells TLC better than sweet pancakes and a cup of hot green tea. Is that the reason you're interrupting my bath? Really? <laughs> oh, nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. I'm not really hungry. Is that the reason you're interrupting my bath? But of course. The world will just cease to exist if you don't let me know this. Well, that'd be fine by me. I don't really care about the world. And I want blueberries on mine. 
Blueberries? Where am I going to take blueberries from? Don't know. You asked me. And I just really like blueberry pancakes. You're impossible, Miss A. What jam did you say it was? Strawberry. That'll do. I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. I'll wash up, if you like. I can do that. I like washing up. You do? Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. No one likes washing up. Looks like we got the rain back. I almost felt like something was missing. Do you think it will ever stop? I mean, what if it doesn't? Then it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. <laughs> Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. No, you wouldn't with this attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them. How is that even possible? Well, what can I say? I'm very likable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, they come every time you play the piano? Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. You sad -o. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's called... All flowers in time bend towards the sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. Mm. He probably didn't. He <laughs> drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. Who hasn't heard of Jeff Buckley or Kirk Cobain? No idea. Obviously, yeah. Time to sleep. I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them, talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. I'm having a bad day. You with some company. Sure. Coffee sounds great. Okay. Let's have some coffee then. What's wrong, Mitzi? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it the last few days and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along, looting myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. I made a map. 
This is our building, all four floors. There are two flats on each floor. You really want to help me? That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. But we haven't found him yet, have we? No. But I feel that together we've found a chance. So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? I know that I know that rude bald guy lives in flat six. I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. There is an old married couple that lives nearby. We can cross out, cross off our flat, of course. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. Let's start with the first one, shall we? I know that rude bald guy lives in flat six. I told you about him, didn't I? I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. Wait. I remember some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? Yeah, I suppose so. No, that jerk? Never. Yeah, I suppose so. Think so. Okay, okay. Take a closer look at him then. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of the flats I'm is empty. Pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Hmm. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. There's, There's an old, an old married couple. couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about that? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice, quiet type, but I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbours. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And the wife? Ivy Davis. Or is it Sophie? I can't remember now. Anyway, she's very polite. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day. Or nothing at all. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat, Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Right, okay. Well, we cross off our flat. cross off our flat, of course. Yep, good. That leaves us with only seven flats. Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. Right, okay. There are strange noises from flat seven. noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. Kind of noises. Like screaming, explosions, guns. Then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. Hmm. I think I might know what's going on there. But it's worth checking anyway. Do you know the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbours' gossip. Sometimes I hear a dog barking. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. First floor? Well, you said one of the flats was empty. Yes, which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. I hate dogs. <laughs> Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. No husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. When I do, it's usually in the hall. When she's pushing a pram with a baby inside, she always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And? I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, 
She grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. Okay, I think that's all that we know at okay. the moment. I think that's all that we know at the moment. Okay. Well, it's still raining outside. <laughs> you mentioned a pram. This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. You have kids, Miss Ashworth. You never talk about it. No, I don't have children. Why do you want to know? I don't want to talk about it. No, I don't have children. But you did, didn't you? Come on, Miss A, it's all right. You can talk to me about it. Do you see any kids here? You don't want to know about my problems. Let's just drink our coffees, yeah? Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Even for me? That's a smash. Did you smash one of my glasses? Miss Ashworth, I, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Knock on a door. Who could this be? You know, let's find out in the next video, shall we? Who's knocking on the door this time? Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye. Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, then please hit that subscribe button down below. If you want to see the previous video, then click the left annotation. If you want to see the next video, please click the right annotation. And once again everyone, thank you for watching. This is Dr. Devolti and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye!